Well, hey out there, fans, friends, feds, and frenemies. It's me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with uh, episode number nine, I think, of Going Medieval. This is a part two for today. Um, I left off a little bit earlier to take a break, um, but we're back. And lo and behold, uh, we come back to Blighted Crops. Wow. All right. Um, so I don't think I have any crops, so I don't have to care about that. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep talking like that didn't happen. Um, Going Medieval is a community management survival game, uh, from Foxy Voxel. Uh, it's a game in the vein of RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress, um, where you manage a medieval community and build a castle and settlement, a settlement and defend them against, um, bandits and raiders, um, while trying to survive in the 1350s. It's a good damn time. Um, we're playing in the uh, Aber Wyvern seed. Aber Wyvern is so named for a uh, castle, a fictional community of Aber, Aber Wyvern um, from David Macaulay's uh, classic children's illustrated architecture book called Castle um, and an animated PBS uh, TV show, uh, one episode, so film, I guess, of the same name. Um, now, obviously... My castle, uh, aside from being a concentric castle of the same general design, um, bears little uh, resemblance to the community of Upper Wyvern, which of course was located on the Welsh coast. Uh, but I have cribbed some of the character names, Andrew of Chester, Catherine and Kevin Lestrange, um, which we used to found our community from that show. Uh, so a little, little, little hat tip to the guy who inspired me to love castle architecture. All right, Kevin is taming a pig over here and he failed. He failed. Yeah. The taming's not going so hot, guys. At a certain point, we're just gonna we're just gonna breed them and kill them. They don't need to be tamed; they just need to be contained. In fact, I yeah, I guess I guess that will that will work eventually, won't it? We'll we'll wind up with a million pigs regardless in those pens. Okay, we stripped everybody's armor off in the last episode. We went through two fights in the last episode. Probably not going to get a fight this winter. Um, I would I would expect. Um, we may we may get another community joiner. Um, that might happen too. I would I would like. I don't I don't know what skill set we need at this. Um, probably like a dedicated farmer. Dedicated farmer or. Uh, more proficient carpenter maybe make some bows speed time up here we'll get them hauling all these things in okay Might as well take down these shelves, eh? They're not serving any purpose. And this room is uh, now more dedicated to clothing production. And I guess I guess we'll get back on stone production. As the winter sets in, too, we'll have more people working indoors. Which reminds me, um, one of the critical things I do need to do is uh, provide some warmth in this uh, secondary storage room we've built here. So, do that by just popping some wall torches up. They don't have to be iron torches. They can be wooden torches, I guess, right? Do we have... We've got a little iron. Let's use a little iron. But that should, that should provide some lighting. And warmth. Yeah, the room's pretty cold now. Definitely need to appoint sleeping spaces for these folks. Um, that's... Like a like permanent rooms. That's going to be a priority. I, I may build them along the sides of the curtain. Okay. 
Or I may construct the keep this season. We'll we've got we've got materials to do something. I'm gonna have to move my wall as we found out in the last episode, but the towers are uh too close uh by one by one level. It's an unfortunate uh thing to have happen. My curdling milk rotted on the stockpile. I'm not, I'm not quite sure about that. Should probably... I didn't really hit the peak season hay. But I should probably get as much hay in as I can. Before the season changes. There's a bunch of it over there. Yeah. All right, that'll do. Saw some there, but it's only one. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. But I need to make sure we get all the uh, the flax seeds and linen hauled in. Okay, and let's make sure nobody sows. Hope I've got enough storage space for seeds. I'm not just leaving those seeds out there to rot. These should all, yeah, be seeds also. Yeah, good, good. The armory is definitely not going to stay down there. This is all going to be cold storage eventually, but right now it's it's our troglodyte residence, the future seller of our castle. Okay, not enough space for all the corpses. Let's actually expand this zone outside the wall. Wow, we really, uh, hmm. At a certain point, I'm going to have to start breaking weapons down too, but... How many? Yeah, this is far enough from the back wall. So if that's the furthest extent... Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to put a round tower there. I think the best keep design is going to be a square tower. Let's see. A length of 16. So how far will 16 take me? That's pretty perfect. Yeah, plenty of space toward the front of it. That's good. Unless I can make it uh, Bartisan uh, 
towered. That'll look nice, right? Oh, we got uh, merchant visiting. I missed that. Who is my? I think it's Catherine. It's still my people person. Ah, it's a pretty useless. Yeah, I'm not gonna sell a bunch of valuable stuff just to buy a blacksmith table. Ooh, we got a chaperon. I don't really know what to uh what to part with here. I haven't I haven't mined anything valuable. We could mine gold or whatever. Um looks like we got some extra winter clothes, some extra summer clothes. Let's trade summer clothes. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Thanks. And Catherine. I guess she's the fancy lady. It's gonna wear the chaperone. Yeah, that's cool. I don't think you can produce those hats either. I think those are, uh, you gotta buy them as the merchants show up. Okay, so there's the dimensions of the inner keep. 16 by 16 or whatever. That, that should be good. How wide would that make these rooms? That would make them five units wide. Hmm. Hmm. That's not ideal. You kind of... I may wind up expanding this. We'll see. Yeah, I am going to. Just slightly because... And then I'll use the... the cancel. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I want uh, the side rooms to be um, even numbered with and this, it becomes impossible. There we go. It becomes impossible to do that um, if I built the way I was. It's kind of hard to explain, but...
We brought in wood yet? Of course not. What if I change the priority on this pile? To very high, will they haul that first? Now the problem with building it this way, um, I'm just reflecting, is that I haven't done the necessary work of clearing out all the space underneath, which means that when I do clear that, there's going to be some stability issues. So that'll be the next priority, is creating an interior uh, storage and workspace here. We can build the keep up above it, but you know, at least it'll be indoors for the winter. And then definitely digging down from this, I'm also going to need to cite the... Uh, just make sure that's lined up. Yeah, that's lined up. I'm also going to need to, to cite the stairwell, uh, probably up from here. And maybe down from like here. Let's get 18 now, 18 instead of 16. Makes a big difference. Okay, I really don't need to cancel those. No, 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 no. Okay, um, cancel across that. Bam. Oh, that's the worst. I just want to mark the corner there. So I have to manually delete these. I mean, we are going to go up that high, certainly, but... That's better. How are we doing on bricks? I think we got enough bricks to finish the floor there.
I think these are taking damage. I think they're taking damage outside. That's not good. For the moment, let's start relocating these things. Yeah, I'm noticing I'm still losing equipment and everything's a little bit damaged on those racks. It's going to be very bad if my bows decay. I mean, I probably could have foreseen that. I don't think I've ever had a weapon rack outside long enough to notice whether or not they decay. I usually just put them inside right off, right off the bat, but... I guess I can... Keep time going while I do this. The merchant's still here. This is a different merchant. It's a different merchant. Glad I noticed. Some apple sapling. Buy all the seeds I can. Let's take the carrot seeds. I don't think I've got any of those. Mm, we'll sell the goats. Okay, yep, yeah, there we go. Should we stabilize the floor there nice and good?
Yeah, in the end, this will look real, real good. Probably would have just been faster to roof this than move all the racks. How do I move the racks? I guess. Give everybody an order. Hopefully kickstart it that way. Okay. Okay, this is inside now, good.
I'll move the crafting benches to the surface as well. Put them there so I can just make a whole shit ton of stone block. I need to warm it up too. It's winter's just around the corner. That we'll wait till next season. But we're going to need more iron. Wait, is there just surface iron here? There is. Before I even have to mine, let's just. Yeah, alright. Hankin's unhappy. Oh, is he, uh... Of course he is. <laughs> oh, boy. It's a good thing I pay attention to these things. Um, they're actually all cut... They're all cut off from the things that matter to them. We need to create new animal pens. That's sort of where we're at now. They don't have to be inside. This was just convenience. In fact, they won't be inside. I'm going to put... Next goat and sheep pen out here. There's absolutely no reason not to. I also gave them that uh, cutting order. And then I forgot to assign anyone to do it, so I'm pretty sure all the grass is gone now, isn't it? Uh, there's still some. Not as much anymore. I like the idea of the community surviving the winter with all the animals. Do we have food cooked? Yeah, we got a bunch of food cooked. Okay, we'll pull them off cooking for now. <clears throat> off growing and harvesting. Off research too for the moment. And even off... Oh, you know what? Let's have them haul... Okay, and they have clothes. Everything's been made. Probably should put a gate in there, eh?
Animals don't suffer temperature effects uh, at this time, but they will, I'm sure. I'm sure that's going to be a thing. It's a thing in RimWorld. Your animals can freeze to death. Okay, and they're going to start bringing the animals over. Good. So we can get this area cleared out. And... I'm going to put the chapel over here. I've decided. I have decided. Well, this isn't inside anymore. This is uh, under the roof. Wonder why. Something. Oh, it's because this piece is missing. Wow. Okay. All right. Fine. Yeah. All right. It's not under the roof. It's or it's not inside. It's under the roof. Okay, pen's almost cleared out. Hank's having a problem. He's stuck again. Somehow he got stuck again. Or is he still stuck? He's still stuck. Somehow this got stuck there. I don't even know how that, that goat is dead. That goat is dead. I have no idea how that goat got stuck up there. Okay, but now Hankin's able to get out anyway. And I'm able to finish the the wall. That's good. A little mixed ungulate pen here.
Okay, now who are the crafters going to be? We've ascertained that Peter's going to be one full time. And Missa, who's waiting for a carpentry bench. Okay, now my researchers are going to be. Let's put everybody at stewarding too. That'll as their main priorities are filled. Okay. And <clears throat> there, now he'll clear this. Yep, that's perfect. All right, we're now we're in winter mode. Seem to have lost a honey skep somewhere. I wonder where I got apples from. There must be apple trees out there somewhere. Oh, there's apple trees. There's a whole there's a whole orchard that grew. Oh, I must have planted I must have planted one in one of the early episodes. And I'm glad I didn't accidentally cut them all down or something. That's cute. Wow, we'll just that's fantastic. We'll just leave that the way it is. Look, yeah, the goat the goat starved. These guys are just making fucking bricks. Fantastic. Okay. Start this other part. You know what? I'll wait on that. Oh, we did get attacked. And they brought with them four archers. Okay. Well, that's less than ideal, folks. That's less than ideal. Let me tell you why. Because none of us were ready for a fight. That's fine. Send everyone to this room first. And as they go, I'm going to manage them. So we've got all our... Hmm... That's not ideal either. This might be bad. This might be bad. I really wasn't ready for this in a lot of ways. Um, 
Is it Oscar and Peter and Hank and are nearly two handed? Get everyone in helmets. I think I got enough helmets now. I'm literally just throwing whatever armor you can grab, guys. Okay, everyone's got armor and helmets. Hank got a weapon. Mm, let's bring it up to her level. She better get a bow. Okay. All right, well, that's what it is. I got a good sword too. All right. Yeah, see, it takes a little extra time to switch, but they work so much faster. Enemies are going to get through an extra door this time. <clears throat> okay. Why can't we damage that target? This weapon cannot damage this target. This weapon cannot damage this target. Are they, are they... <laughs> That was weird. Bug, I guess. Okay, so the frequency of bandit attacks seems to have dramatically increased. Uh, that's good. The difficulty so far isn't increasing. We're not getting master archers or anything, but this 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 too will pass. This too will come to pass. Um, come on, kill them. We're also not getting anyone heavily armored. So far, I haven't seen anyone wearing plate armor. Any of these bandit raids, these are all... I guess they're looters, right? They're not the factions, so... Okay... Hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to send them down to this room.
Okay. Probably just switch them direct to cap. I don't need to. Okay. And I really wish there was a save reload option for these settings rather than having a micro at every damn time. It's almost worth it just to keep them armed and they do they do definitely work faster. There's no question. There's no question. Okay. <clears throat> what is Mark auto equipping? Is he auto equipping a cap? Yeah, I guess he is. Okay, so they start to auto equip there. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, we made cheese. That's cool. I'm, I'm a. Uh... Very happy with that. Okay, we need to fix the reinforced door situation here. I guess there's... There's no real option. Everyone has to be on hall level one pretty much all the time if I want to make this work, which does mean distracting from their primary employment, but if I look down at that room, I bet no one's put the, yeah, no one's put the stuff away yet. Now, if I leave this stuff lying on the floor, it's not taking any damage. So. Keep an eye on the research panel here. Good, we're one we're one chronicle away from uh, terraforming. I could get cooking right away. But I'm gonna want terraforming for the upcoming season. OK, 
Okay, they put away their weapons and armor. is full of caps. No shortage of caps. No! Holy shit. Mark very nearly died on me. Why did Mark very nearly die on me? We've got people assigned to tending. Oh, is he, uh... He's on animal husbandry. Which means what happens with him is he got in the pen with the pig. And he tried to tame the pig. And the pig fucked him up. The pigs almost killed him. Boy. I gotta watch that. Let's, uh, let's... He's set to convalesce, too, so... Let's just avoid the pig pen for now. Those Tamworths are vicious. They do really need to be compartmentalized in their own pens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to... I don't know, watch a guide on how to... how to keep pigs in this game. Boy, that scared the crap out of me. No, he's almost dead? What? Like... <laughs> <laughs> critical condition I mean anything sneezes on him he dies right like that's Ugh. probably would have played it out too I don't think I would have loaded from save on that one it's just man I would have felt bad I would have felt real bad okay let's make this room one of these is going to be a library and one of these is going to be a chapel I think her Great Hall. Put the Great Hall one floor up. We'll do the chapel first since we've got all the restitution. So how do I do this? I need this is just aesthetics. Something like round pillars. Guess I can keep time going while I do this. This game's tricky like that. You get confident, and then your confidence turns to horror as you realize your people died to something that you should have just noticed.
Okay. And there's decorations that make it a chapel, I think. Yep. I'm just put them down at the end here. Just need two, right? Yeah. Make it an aesthetically pleasing chapel. It's just a small chapel, right? Like, we'll, we'll build a community-sized cathedral once I'm up to, like, 20 community members. It's provided they don't die, but... I guess I should put some heat in there somewhere. In a really good spot. The round ones look better, probably do. I know. We can just put it at the back. Yeah, that's fine. Some extra book storage along the walls. Okay, merchants here. Oh, what's this? Missing floor? wonder why. Stability is why. Oh. I see why. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't even know what these rooms are going to be. Okay, Mark is extremely injured again. Why does he keep getting fucked up? Definitely animal husbandry that's causing it to happen. I will close the windows. It is winter. Didn't catch that merchant. It's okay. I'm going to keep an eye on Mark when he gets back up and see what tasks he goes to do. So I don't think it's the sheep that are fucking him up, right? Like that, that wouldn't make sense. It 
it's a mystery. <laughs> we have so many damn bricks. Oh my god. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Also, a Warbo decayed. Shouldn't be any Warbos. Off the stockpile. I didn't even remember to bring in these weapons. Super annoying. Whatever. Oh, I guess these weapon racks are still being used, eh? Yeah. Damn. That makes me a dumb dumb. Probably what I need to research is fletching and start making. We're uh, we're getting close to the end of this uh, this episode here. We get uh, we get a chapel mostly done. Um, the keep is sighted, and we are, uh, you know, we're producing lots of blocks. We're good on food for the foreseeable future. Um, animals are fed. Everything's taken care of. We got to produce weapons uh, in the next episode so they can get everybody with a good bow in their hands so we can just, like, easy clap um, those bandit raids when they arrive. Um, and I really need to figure out what's going on with Mark. I might go back and review the footage and see... Um, how he managed to get himself hurt so much. Um, but yeah, that's all for me for now. This is some postmodern cowboy playing going medieval. Uh, it's a community management survival game for Voxy Voxel. If you like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you don't like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. Throw me a like, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and as always, keep it peaceful out there. <laughs>